All right, guys, so this is going to be Q&A number six, I believe. This is the one where I asked for non-lifting related questions. Um, so I'm just going to run through these in order, getting ready to go out of town here. So I'm cooking up a lot of food to take with me. Okay, so STFU Donnie asks, are you and Dan Paschok still buddies? What are your some of your uh, favorite movies or TV shows? Yes, Dan and I are still buddies. I saw him at the Arnold only very briefly, but we talked, and um, you know he used to be my training partner for two years. So we don't talk a whole lot anymore because he's in Madison, Wisconsin, and I'm in Knoxville, Tennessee. But we are definitely buddies, and I'm glad he's doing well. As far as some of my favorite movies and TV shows, um, I started watching, or I watched like a few episodes of this with my girlfriend, uh, The Great Food Truck Race. So random, but it's, it was awesome. Like, I liked seeing it. They would go to a different city every episode, and they basically had to have the highest amount of sales. And then one team would get eliminated each episode. So just a stupid show, but I liked it a lot. Um, another show I liked a lot was, um, what the heck's it called? Hotel Impossible, where Anthony, I think his name was Mel Curie, he'd go to these hotels and fix them all up and everything, and they were about to go under. And I just, I like shows where they're in a new city every week, like you can kind of see a little bit of the city, what it's like, the people, that stuff is cool to me. Um, I used to watch Man Vs. Food. Uh, I've seen Walking Dead a little bit. Uh, it's pretty good. I'm not crazy about it, but it's definitely good. As far as movies, I haven't seen a lot of movies. Um, I'm not a big TV person. I don't even own a TV. I don't have a TV in my apartment. But So that goes to show you, I just don't watch much TV or sporting events or anything. Right now, I'm, I'm cheering on the Badgers as they're in the Sweet 16, but I didn't watch any Badger games all year or anything like that. Like the Packers, I'll, I miss probably at least half of their games. Like I just, I'm not big into following any of that. But as far as movies, the last movie, or one of the last movies I saw was The Help, about, um, it was like a racial movie out of Mississippi, about how things were for like, um, between black and white people in Mississippi, and honestly it was pretty good. That was like one of the last movies I saw, and I liked that. And then I also saw that Everest movie, which was pretty good. It wasn't great. It was about the Everest, Everest uh, catastrophe of 1996, where a bunch of people died and they got caught in a storm on the summit. So, Joseph Branco asks, have you ever been to Hawaii? Yes, I have when I was seven years old. I am almost 25 now, so that is about uh, 18 years ago. I went there with my grandma and my parents and my sister and um, I went to Honolulu and I went to the Big Island, Kona specifically. Uh, they're very different. I love Hawaii. I would love to go back, but it's very expensive. Like a flight out there is like 1500 bucks round trip, so it's not very practical for me right now, but I loved it. Josh Hager asks, what are some foods that you absolutely eat? Um, I'm cooking up chicken chicken breast right now. Uh, eat a lot of beef, um, lots of jasmine rice, eggs, whole eggs. I get the omega-3 eggs, uh, but that's about it because the diet's changed. I'm feeling much better eating like this. Uh, the pumps in the gym are ridiculous now, eating healthy, so that's pretty cool. I don't get heartburn anymore. I like to, if I have to eat out, I like to go to Chipotle because I can eat there and not feel like crap afterward. Uh, if I eat anywhere else, I feel like crap. You know, just eating like fried foods and stuff. And then he asks, what would your walkout song of choice be for any sport? Lose Yourself by Eminem. That's been one of my go-tos for really heavy sets for years, so I'll stick with that. Um, I'm gonna come over here and flip the chicken, but I'll take my computer with me. Die Big, Die Young asks, where do you see yourself in 20 years? Uh, 20 years, as far as powerlifting, I'd like to total 2,200 at some point, 2,200. Um, turn this. Not sure how feasible that will be or if I can stay that healthy for that long because injuries pile up, but that would be a good goal. Um, 
I'd like to be living somewhere even warmer than Tennessee at that point. Uh, probably like to be married by then again and have had a successful marriage for a few years by that point. Um, 20 years, I'd be 45. Really hard to say, but more or less I'd be doing what I'm doing now. I enjoy my life, I enjoy the flexible hours as far as working, having a business, um, training online clients, stuff like that. So I enjoy this. Do I want kids? Um, I don't know. I really don't. I'm on the fence. Uh, biggest non-lifting goal? That's a darn good question because so much of this, uh, so much of what I do is lifting related. So, biggest non-lifting goal? Just this is so cliche and very general, but just to improve um, as a person, improve my like ability to handle any situation, my self-awareness, uh, my I don't know, it's very hard to put into words, but just be more knowledgeable. And that's, I don't, you can't measure that or anything. So off the top of my head, I don't have a great biggest non-lifting goal. And then he asks, have I ever suffered with depression? How, do I, how did I overcome it? Uh, I've had not like clinical depression, but I've been depressed at random times of my life, at various times of my life, I should say. And, uh, I like taking long walks. Long walks are the best way for me to clear my head, calm my emotions down in the moment, and think about life and where I want to be, what I want to do. So I recommend hour long walks for anybody, especially in the evening when it's dark out, unless you're a girl because you might get raped. And I'm just, that's, I'm being serious. If you're a girl, don't be walking around at night. But if you're like me and you're big and everything, uh, you can walk around at midnight by yourself and you don't really have anything to worry about. So, there I'm spitting my advice for the day. Okay. Matt says, for your next freaking delicious food video, I highly recommend Talenti Caramel Apple Pie Gelato Ice Cream. Well, we actually did a review on that. That's on my girlfriend's channel, Kelly Christopher. So. We've already covered that, actually. Way ahead of you, buddy. Nathan Gotsman, what are your favorite metal bands? Um, Five Finger Death Punch, Hate Breed. That's about it. I'm not. I'm way bigger into rap than metal. Zach S, do you hunt fish or do any recreational shooting? Um, I haven't shot in a while, but I have done that before, and it's a lot of fun. Um, hunting, I've never done. I fished. I'm going to go fishing, actually in June or July for that Goliath grouper fish off the coast of Florida. It's a few hundred pounds. I'm going to be doing a collab with uh, Black Tip PH Fishing. It's like a 200,000 subscriber channel. They're going to see if I can reel that in without a harness or anything. Just pure strength. D Dia Diaz732 asks, tips for breakups and depression. You seem to have handled yours so well. Uh, I mean, I had a lot of dark days, man. I had a lot of days where I was going on those walks, and I recommend those to just help you get your head right and think about all the things you want to do. Um, you got to move on, though. There's always, if it didn't work out, it didn't work out for a reason, and there's, it's not like you're not going to find somebody else, more or less. And as long as you're improving yourself, you'll be all right. Somebody else will come along. Okay. Sean Bostic. What is the meaning behind your tattoos? Um, so I got one here. I think that one's the, it might be strength. I think it's strength. And I think this one's the honor one. So strength, just, you know, I want to be strong. Strength is one of the main things I, uh, I'm all about. So that one's pretty self-explanatory. And not just strength as far as like lifting, but strength with getting through tough situations in life, just like we kind of talked about. And then honor, I want to be revered, so, so to speak. Like I want people to honor this legacy I hope to create someday and look back and everything. And um, these are kind of the things that I value and I want to work towards. Um, so that's what that's about. 
KM McDurr. Are my aesthetics the same in person as they are on the YouTubes? Actually, yeah, they are. They're literally goofballs in person, too. Uh, that's not just like a front they're putting up on their videos. That's how they are. So it's pretty cool. Sean Bostic, what is something you fear? Um, what do I fear? I fear being vulnerable with people because I feel like um, I don't trust people that much. So that would be one. Um, uh, I would say, I would say that's the big one. Uh, S. Chi Chiong asks top five favorite ice creams. Um, Cedar Crest blueberry waffle cone is number one. Uh, number two, I'd go Ben and Jerry's tonight dough. Number three, Ben and Jerry's uh, cookie butter core. And then after that, probably Turkey Hill five, pumpkin pie. Number five, I don't know. Those are just my top four. Slime, when are you coming out with? New some new T-shirts. Um, I don't know. Not in the foreseeable future. I have a ton going on right now. I'm traveling more than I ever have in my life. Um, so many opportunities now as my lifting's kind of taken off, which is really cool. But I'm just I'm so busy. It's it's hard to keep up with it all. So like as far as answering questions and stuff in Instagram comments and on Facebook and Facebook messages, I try to do stuff like this to at least give you a little something or you feel like I'm not ignoring you guys, this is what I'm gonna be doing to kinda of make everybody happy still. David Abaki asks, considered getting kids. <laughs> I don't know, uh, like kids questions guys, I really don't know. Um, my girlfriend has kids, but as far as making some of my own, I don't know. I'm, I'm not sure, cause they're a lot of money. Um, Alan Shields, do you have any opinions on Superdrol? Uh, Superdrol is very strong. Crazy strength gains. Uh, makes you feel like crap though. Not good for you. So, uh, I wouldn't do it more than four weeks. Erect, as, Erect Skid asks, what is your favorite music, movie, and video game? Video game, I don't play video games, but GoldenEye on Nintendo 64 was the best game ever. Uh, movie, I don't really know. Music, Linkin Park, Eminem. JMC Fan 11 asks, of all the places you visited, where was your favorite and why? Uh, favorite place I've visited, I've been to quite a few. I'm trying to think here, guys. That's a, that's a really tough one. Honestly, New Brunswick and Nova Scotia were really cool. They were just different. Um, that was my only time I've been out of the country until this summer, so I had a lot of fun with that. It's just so different from what I'm used to being up there in the um, Maritimes. So that was probably, that's what comes to mind right now. Jeez Louise, man. Kuhn asked a question, and honestly, guys, no one can answer that. Because it's just effed up. <laughs> My goodness. Uh, Brendan Teets asks, what was your person personality like as a kid? Were you similar to yourself now or have you changed a lot over the years? Um, I was very introverted. Um, all through high school I kept to myself. I didn't have any friends really. Um, I, had, I mean, I didn't hang out with anybody outside of school. I'd go home, I'd lift. I loved it. Um, but just not a lot going on so over the years I've become much more extroverted like I still I'd rather probably be by myself as far as I don't want a bunch of friends I don't want a huge circle like I keep a very small circle I just don't like being around people that much but I'm much more personable I can talk to people because I have to do that now um, I'm comfortable public speaking so all this stuff has helped with that all this attention all these seminars stuff like that bouncing that got me good at talking to people and being around people and everything. So I used to be dead quiet and now it's not really a problem, but I still prefer to be by myself. David Hernandez asks, do you like Pop-Tarts? If so, which flavor do you think is best? Not a big Pop-Tart guy, I rarely eat them, but I will say that pumpkin pie Pop-Tarts are probably the best. 
maybe red velvet. The Night Tremors asks, how much does the proximity of the gym make a difference on where you live? Um, that makes a huge difference. I wouldn't live in a place where there wasn't an awesome gym to train at because this is what I do for a living. Essentially, it complements what I do for a living and I need to make as much progress as I can. So having the gym I have now, Maxed Out Gym in Oak Ridge, um, that had a lot to do with why I moved here. How do I deal with road rage? Not road rage, road rage. Um, I tend, what you really gotta do is just don't even look at people in the other cars and you won't get as pissed off. Um, I had one road rage incident in the fall where I, was, I chased somebody down and I was screaming at him out the window to pull over. Um, but don't, I don't recommend that because um, somebody could have a gun or want to stab you or something. Um, these people cut me off real bad, blatantly, you know, so that I got mad. But that stuff is going to happen. Now I kind of just look the other way. Um, they didn't pull over, by the way, but uh, it's whatever, man. Okay. Um, Johnny Cakes, what are your thoughts on Jason Genova? I really don't care. Um, he can do what he wants to do. I don't follow a lot. Of, I don't follow people's YouTube channels really. I, I pretty much the one I watch most is Super Train 06, Mark Bell's channel. It, Brendan W122 asks, "What is the most impressive amount of food you've ever eaten in one sitting?" Um, I'm not a big eater, man. I've never had a big appetite, so I can't even tell you because. I could, if I tried a food challenge, I would get destroyed. Just, I'm not like that. Um, Justin Young, if you were a fighter, what would your intro song be? Lose Yourself, Eminem. We kind of covered that with a similar question earlier. Man in the Midget, do you ever get a big, big ego knowing that you are stronger than 99% of the world? Uh, sometimes, yeah. I mean, I'm not going to lie. Sometimes you're feeling pretty good, but um, I try to be humble when I'm like around people. I, there's a certain swagger that you have in the gym that you almost need when you're trying to go after heavy weight, but uh, I don't know. I don't think about that a whole lot. Samuel Samuel L. Jackson asks, what are your hobbies? We know you lift, but do you even fish, bro? I don't fish much. I'm going to give it a shot here with these hundred, few hundred pound fish in the next couple months, the Goliath Grouper, like I talked about earlier. Um, I like to read, go on walks like introverted kind of stuff if you see what I'm saying. Heavy Lifts Bro asks, would he travel to, to space to see what's out there? Honestly, the takeoff would, I would hate that. I don't like when a plane when you're taking off and your head is like pinned against the seat and you feel like your uh, your head's, your brain's moving around. Like I can't, I hate that part. So like, can you imagine going up into space, man? It'd be like a hundred times worse. So I probably wouldn't like that too much. Richard Datu asks, what are your favorite clothing brands and why? I just get all my t-shirts for free and all I wear are t-shirts t -shirts and like $8 shorts, $8 store brand shirt shorts. So I don't have any favorite clothing brands. I literally don't think about that at all. Would you, Lucas Harris asks, would you rather watch Maury or Jerry Springer? Growing up, we didn't have cables, so I never saw Jerry Springer. I only saw Maury a little bit. I don't care for either though. Old school muscle, where do you see yourself in doing what in the next 10 years? Uh, I kind of covered this earlier, but more or less what I'm doing now, I'm training people and having this flexible scheduling, doing some seminars, traveling a bunch, um, keep going for records, God willing, if I'm healthy, no injury, or not any too serious of injuries. F. Pete's asks, is your tub big enough to actually get completely underwater? No, either my feet stick out or my uh, upper body, like probably right about here, sticks out. So you can't win them all. Like it's not big enough, but it gets the job done for Epsom salt baths. What would your dream job be if you weren't lifting? Um, what you dream about as a kid? I dreamed about being like a professional basketball player. 
Uh, I was pretty good at it. Um, dream job if I was in lifting would honestly be something probably outside. Like this wouldn't, I, I don't know how to put this because if I could, I wouldn't mind landscaping or like even mowing lawns for like 10 hours a week. Like I wouldn't want to do it for 40, but if I could just doing a little bit of landscaping work on the side or mowing lawns, I wouldn't mind. I like being outside, I like enjoying the weather. And so, I, I mean, that sounds really funny as a dream job, but just um, probably personal training and then a little bit of that. How were you in your teens? Did you up, drink alcohol, party much, or just do your own thing? Just did my own thing. Like I said, I didn't touch alcohol till I was maybe like 21. I literally think I didn't drink until I was 21 at all, have anything. Um, never partied. I just, I'm not like that. I'm not into that. I don't like going out to bars. Like, if I'm, if I'm gonna date a girl, I will not find a girl at a bar. I don't do that. I'm not into girls who party like that or anything. I gotta check on this again. I'm not into girls who party and drink and want to do all that stupid crap. I mean, if that's your style, that's your style, but it's not for me. You can't burn the chicken here. I like people with similar interests to me who don't want to go out and party and... Give me one sec. What did your parents... Okay, wait, wait, one sec. I'm not, I'm not really going to get into that one, but um, abuse isn't, I don't know, I wouldn't say abuse as far as the question that I don't answer. Ivan Druskovich, when did you lose your virginity? Um, I lost my virginity when I was 19, and I'm serious. Uh, late bloomer, obviously, like I did my own thing, so I wasn't around a bunch of people. So that should give hope for anybody. Alpha Morph Lifting asks, Hey Pete, we were wondering about your take on having a singular focus in life and how important you think it is to achieve a high level of success. I feel like you should focus on what you're good at and what you enjoy. I enjoy lifting, I'm good at it, so I focus on pretty much everything I got. Um, I think it's better to focus on what you're really good at and get really good at that than just spread, it, spread yourself all over uh, many different things and you know, try to branch out and then do a million things because then you're only gonna be mediocre at all those, those things when you could be really good at just one. Alex M, hey Pete, do you play video games? No, I do not. I haven't in literally 15 years. And he says, what's your favorite spaghetti? I don't know what that means, but I'm gonna go with pasta. My favorite pasta is tortellini. Beast and Fitness asks, how are you able to deadlift the entire two years you had the hip labrum tear if you couldn't squat? Uh, deadlifts didn't bother because the hip flexion wasn't anywhere near as bad as it is on squats. My hips would start out high enough that it didn't pose any problems. Anthony Hootman, have you ever watched anime? Anime? No, I have not. I don't get it. Brad R. Did you ever consider anything career-wise besides coaching powerlifting? Um, my real focus was to become really good at lifting and um, kind of make a living out of training and things outside of that, which is what I've done. So um, I didn't really want to do anything else. I've kind of done what I, I planned to do, and so I'm happy about that. There wasn't really anything else that stood out to me. John T. asks, can you address the George Lehman situation? Have you ever considered moving to Cambodia? Um, George is a really strong lifter. I'm not going to address his personal life. And uh, I have never considered moving to Cambodia, no, nor have I ever considered traveling there. Trapezoarus Flex asks, what sports did you play as a kid and teen? Played basketball, football. Ran track, 100, 100 and 200 meter. I was terrible at them, at uh, 100 and 200 meter. I was all right at football and I was pretty good at basketball. Um, interestingly enough, I played on the offensive and defensive line in football. I also did a little baseball up until high school, then I was like, forget this. 
and I think that covers it. H. Francis, how do you feel about a lifetime of servitude to some BS company, then retire at 70 in your worst years and die within a short period? We live our lives the wrong way around. Yeah, I mean, more or less, that's something I want to avoid. I just, uh, I knew that, uh, you know, working for a corporation or something was not going to make me happy, even if I made a bunch of money. And doing something like that, it's not for everybody. It's not for me. It's not for everybody. So, I don't know. I'm not going to totally knock it. Some people like that kind of stuff, but it's not my thing. What is your military press PR? Uh, 275 strict. Just seeing how many more questions we have here because there are a lot. A lot of questions about George Lehman. Ye, Ye Boy 217 asks Pete, what personality qualities do you like most in the girls you've dated? Um, I like girls who are loyal. Loyalty is big. Um, I like girls who are honest. I mean, these are all traits anybody would like. It doesn't matter what the, the sex is. Um, I like girls who are submissive. Um, I don't know. I just... Well, the, and the one thing you gotta realize is... I'm not, I mean, it's hard for me to deal with too, but every girl has other guys in her life and they will never go away. So you just kind of have to kind of accept it. It's just, that's the nature of how things are. There's always other guys around. And it's not fun, but you deal with it. But uh, yeah, personality traits, those are probably the big ones. Now, if we were talking physical, I like a nice butt. Girls who lift. Um, girls who are in the same lifestyle as me, girls who don't want to go out and drink and party, um, girls who are more homebodies than anything, that's about it. I think that covers most everything. If you were in, Kopim Nas asks, if you were sentenced to death row, what would your last meal be? Well, besides the obvious, I would say uh, maybe fried chicken, Starburst, uh, blueberry lemonade, and I'm trying to think here what else, guys. That's tough. That's tough to come up with on the spot. Peter Mullen asks, what's your next size? 19 and a half to 20 inches. Um, Cope and Nas, how often have you been in fights? Not in a long time, nothing too crazy. I bounced for three years, but nothing real crazy actually. Jeffrey Marshall, if you ever purchase a house, will you go back to training in the basement? Of course, probably a garage actually, especially if I'm living in a warmer climate. Um, I will definitely, like if I get a house, basement or garage gym, hands down. Tom Elgord, what is the craziest night you, out you ever had? Uh, after work, there was an after bar and I got drunk. But that's like literally it. I've rarely been drunk and nothing really happened. I just went home and felt like crap. But that was about it. Um, I ch during that, I mean, I challenged another bouncer to a push-up contest and we got it to like 90 and then I just like tackled him because I was done doing that many push-ups and I could, didn't want to do anymore and I mixed protein powder beer and fireball and chugged it and I mean that was the kind of stuff but nothing really happened besides that I haven't gotten that crazy Anthony Jefferson what was high school like for you we've, we've addressed that one so I mean I can you can just go back in the video um, I just uh, I was pretty much kept to myself man I wasn't sociable at all or anything. That's it. Covered all the questions. 30 minute video and I'm out.